Hey guys, it's Rich with your Monday Spot on the Pagan Perspective. This week's topic is on death and related views. This one comes from David, who asks, Because it is such an old post of yours, death and or the afterlife slash reincarnation, etc. How do you see it? How do you get to the end place, i.e. underworld, heaven, or hell, whatever it, you may happen to call it? Death rites slash rites of passage into the afterlife. Anything else that you want to say on this is okay. These are just some ideas. The main thing that I had in mind was as death and your view slash belief. So my concept of death is twofold. Uh, one, the death rate is one per person. We're all going to make it. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So let's make the most of it and enjoy the ride. And Two, death will be an amazing adventure. And if you get that quote, it's uh, from Hook. Yeah, yeah. Gotta love the old ones. So, my thoughts on death. And I was going to do this uh, topic on my personal channel because I think it was last month or the month before the Subs Week had the topic of death. And it is such an important topic. So basically, my thoughts on death is it, it's a natural occurrence. It happens uh, to everybody. It, we're not going to avoid it. So as long as if we don't put ourselves in the uh, situation where it happens sooner than what it's supposed to, as long as if we don't put ourselves in that situation, then it's, uh, you know, it, it's going to be natural. And hopefully... Uh, it doesn't happen at somebody else's hand. For everybody out there, I hope that it happens, you know, because of old age and, you know, your body's just finally breaking down after years and years of a well-lived life. So, so anyway, moving on from death into the afterlife. Um, yes, I do believe in an afterlife, whether it is a heaven or hell um, or something of like a an intermediate type of space. Uh, I also am starting to come around to, yeah, I like that, uh, coming around to be, uh, believing or thinking of reincarnation as a, a possibility. I don't think everybody reincarnates, and if they do, then they don't all reincarnate at the same time or on a time schedule, stuff like that. It's my ideas on it are very complicated, and I'm not quite sure of how I view it myself. So, yeah. If there is reincarnation, again, maybe we don't all reincarnate. And if we do, maybe we reincarnate at different stages or different time lengths, depending on how long we have to be in that intermediate space. That intermediate space uh, could be... A, a concept of a heaven or hell depending on um, either what kind of life we lived or what our beliefs were during this lifetime. I'm not completely sure and this is one of those topics where I'm completely fine saying I don't know. I don't necessarily have a viewpoint on this uh, other than that I think there's something beyond this lifetime uh, that doesn't negate you know, living this life to the fullest, I think that we should definitely do that, and I want to make that perfectly clear. But I, I've i always thought and believed that there was something beyond uh, this lifetime, whether it is just being a spirit out there in the ether somewhere, maybe it's being part of a larger body of energy, um, maybe it is reincarnation, maybe it's just heaven, hell, purgatory, or summerland, or whatnot. So, I've always had that belief in an afterlife, but I'm still kind of fuzzy on what happens in that afterlife. Do we stay there? Do we uh, reincarnate? Stuff like that. And this is one of those subjects that I'm completely okay with saying, I don't know. And I'm okay with not knowing right now. It's something that it kind of starts to solidify in my, in my brain thing, and then everything changes. So... <laughs> Yeah, I am completely fine saying I have no idea. Moving on from that, though, is how do you get to the end place? And again, that's something that I don't know. I, 
the way that I see it is, uh, depending on what type of life you live, what your belief system is, whenever you die in this lifetime and you move on, you do like a life review, something like that, maybe you are in a place that is, um, that coincides with your belief of heaven, hell, um, summer land, whatever. And maybe you stay in that place during your life review, or maybe you just take a break for a little bit before you reincarnate. Um, is there something like whenever you reach to the end, do you become part of source energy or something like that? I'm not sure. And that's something I've I've toyed with the idea of thinking of, and then I, I back away like I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready to start thinking at that level in in trying to unpack that type of stuff so that the amount that i just said is about as far as i've gotten on my way of thinking on this and it can change at any time really so yeah again one of those topics that i'm completely okay saying i have no idea as far as death rights rights of passage into the afterlife and whatnot i do have a um, a ritual that I do whenever somebody that I know passes away and I kind of grieve them in my own way. I have a certain candle. I have um, like a funeral ritual or a death ritual, if you want to call it that, that I perform for that person specifically. That's whether or not I want to add them into my ancestral pantheon or not. That's a whole different part of the ritual that I can either keep in or exclude. But I do have a funeral ritual that I perform for friends and uh, family, loved ones, that it's basically, I think I got it from Solitary Witch, actually. I think that's where I got it from, and I've adapted it and evolved it into something that I use um, whenever somebody that I know dies. And that's something that, again, I have the same candle for. Uh, other than that, I have like tea lights and all that stuff that I use. But I have my funeral ritual uh, or my death ritual candle. And that is one solitary candle that I use only for that ritual. And I think I posted on my personal channel whenever I did my witchy cabinet. Um, Whenever I did my witchy cabinet walkthrough, I think I even pointed out that one of the baskets in there holds only the death uh, or funeral ritual items. So that is a specific ritual that I do for that rite of passage. You know, everybody gets to go out, at least in my life, with a proper farewell. And in that way, I believe that as long as if I treat them in the nicest way possible or I honor them in the nicest way possible, then I think that they will they, they will appreciate that I am giving them that uh, that type of send off, I guess you would say. So I hope that all made sense. Uh, kind of a shorter video for me for the, like the last two weeks. Um, yeah, heavy topics this month. Um, so yeah, I'm glad to see that October for the regular hosts are done. And let's see. Um, okay. So, yeah. I, I'm I'm really glad to see that October is kind of done. We had a lot of heavy topics, a lot of really serious topics, um, especially with death, racism, and, uh, and, you know, rape. Yeah, heavy topics. Things that definitely need needed to be discussed, especially whenever you're part of the pagan perspective or whenever you watch the pagan perspective or in, are involved in this community in any way. Um, I think these are definitely topics that we needed to do. So I'm glad that we did them, but I'm also glad that they are done. And hopefully we can have a, a fun topic here or there because, boy, these heavy topics are, are starting to weigh on me. So anyway, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next month. Uh, I do have a visitor coming, and I don't usually do v videos while visitors are in, especially with uh, this particular visitor. So yeah, anyway, with all that being said, 
I might be able to do pre-recorded videos and have them up in time for uh, the scheduled videos. If not, you will see Danny or one of the subs. So whether or not you see me next month, I'm not really sure how much of next month I'll be able to do. But until next time, until the next time that I see you, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye-bye.